BTV has been covering for the past few weeks, and tonight, yet another mm -hmm. one. Live at 5, another dealership in our area has now had more than $150,000 in cars stolen right off the lot, this time in Morganton in Burke County. And this is all part of a series of thefts at dealerships across our area that we've been telling you about for months now. We've mapped out the different dealerships in our area that have been stolen from since the beginning of February this year. Morgan and Honda has become the fifth dealership in our area to have cars stolen directly off its lot. And WBTV's Ron Lee live in Morganton this evening with much more on this. So Ron, you were able to talk to the dealership and another smaller dealership as well. So what are they saying? Yeah, John, that's exactly right. Well, one of the dealerships that I talked to was very upset that a crime like this could happen to them. Conversely, the other dealership I talked to was very concerned that they could be the next target. This is just a little old Morganton. You wouldn't expect something like that to happen here. George Rigsby stopped by the Morganton Honda dealership this morning for some routine maintenance on his truck and says he was surprised to hear from employees what happened. It's rather surprising that, uh, you know, they run out of the big cities, so they have to go to the small cities. The video tells the story. Thieves smashed their way into the Morganton Honda dealership in the early morning hours on Monday. The crime caught by security surveillance cameras. Pretty crazy, pretty scary. Joe Keefe is one of the managers here. He says three to four people came in through the front door using a crowbar, then went in search for something very specific. Obviously, my office where they found the keys uh, broke into the office next door. The footage shows the tail of the tape from that point. The perps went looking for the high-end vehicles. They managed to take three, a BMW X3, a BMW 5, and this Escalade valued at over $100,000. Police came with weapons drawn just minutes after the suspects cleared out. Keefe says he thinks it's the same crew responsible for hitting dealerships all over the area, like this one in Charlotte and another in Hickory because he sees the same M.O. I guess they're big enough and, and, and crazy enough to do something like that is, is the scary thing. Like, how far does this go? A question others who are in the business as well have, too. Why would they even do something like this? Sarah Wright owns Right Way Motors just down the street from where the thefts happened. She says she's had cars stolen off her lot as well. And crimes like this really hits this family-owned business hard. We have cameras, but at the end of the day, that didn't stop them at the big dealership. What would it make them? you know, say, hey, we're not going there. Now, the big question on everybody's minds is what happens to these cars once they disappear? Do they go to a chop shop or are they sent out overseas? Realistically, nobody really knows, but police tell me they're hoping they get the answers to that question when these guys are finally rounded up. In Burke County, I'm Ron Lee, WBTV on your side. And that is fascinating, Ron, just exactly what happens to these vehicles. Uh, good question. Thanks, Ron. Well, live